Hello, I'm going to explain to you about writing an email in English. You have got notes from the previous one, but there was an email to somebody of your age. And now we are going to write an email to an adult person, like someone in, who works in a company or a teacher or whatever. Again, you have the same points conventions, content elements, use of language, communication. The total points are 13. And I will explain to you how you can get the points. So the first one is for conventions. I think you remember this is the square where you have to fill in from. It's you. It's from you. So it's your name at www.wedeswijger.nl Two, we will give you the email address where you have to write to. The date is always the date of today and the subject. You have to think of a good subject yourself. Now, you already knew this, but now we go to the new part. And that is, if you don't know who you write to, you have to say, dear sir, madam, sir slash madam, comma. You put that in one word. If you know who you write to, like we say, you are going to write your email to Meneer Smith, then you have to do Dear Mr. Smith and a comma. If it's Mevrouw Smith, then you, de you say Dear Ms. Smith and you'll get the name. And it is a Mevrouw. And don't forget your comma. So, or Dear Sir Madam, or Dear Mr. Smith, or Dear Ms. Smith, or whatever. Then you end your email with Kind Regards, or yours faithfully or yours sincerely. You put a comma and immediately below that, your first name and surname. And for these, of course, you have to choose. You can't use all three of them. That would be a little bit silly. That's one point. Conventions. Next, your content elements, the in-house element and all these things with them. Um, a bullet in front of it. So all these the bulletjes, you have to put them in your in your email, and you will have two points. So you start with the first one, then you think of another paragraph, and you write your last paragraph, and then you have made your email nice and clean. And as you can see, you keep on typing until you are at the end, a full stop. Don't enter here, but Go on typing until you have done your whole paragraph. The same with this one. Automatically, it will go to a new line because this word is too long. So keep on typing and don't give enter after each sentence. So if you put enter here and you start there, it's wrong. Then your paragraph is not in order. But you will have two points if you have all the content elements in your email. Then we go to effective communication. Also two points. The first point is for your email looks nice and clean. Like I told you, the paragraphs are arranged correctly. So you, you said this goes together, that goes together, and it is in order. No abbreviations like don't or I'm or he's. You say do not or I am or he is or he has. So no apostrophes. You use capital letters, so I is always capital letter. For example, if it's a name, you use capital letter and lowercase is in order, of course, lowercase is in Dutch, the kleine letters. So no name in lowercase because then it's not in order. And the other point is for you use clear, lang clear language, so no silly words or stupid words. You make your sentence just a little bit longer, not too short, and you use conjunctions. So, for example, you say, I am writing this letter because I have got a question. Or, it's very nice um, that you have chocolate cookies, but I like to have chocolate cookies with dark chocolate. Yeah, so that these are conjunctions. Put a little bit more effort in, not just the assignment. Just um, uh, do a little bit extra. That's always, that's always very good to have your extra points. So then you will have two points. 
Now, the other thing is your use of language. And that is eight points. Wow. But then your sentence structure is correct. You use correct words and you put them in the correct word order. So not I go, uh, I went yesterday to school. But you know that you have to say I went to school yesterday. That is a simple example, but you should know that by now. Your grammar is in order. So you will not say, um, my father don't like that. You say, my father does not like that because your father is a he and you have to use does and not do. Oh, and another grammar mistake, what we always see is I, I am writing a email instead of an email. Some Students don't know when to use a uh and when to use an. You have no spelling mistakes and you use punctuation. So you use a question mark when you ask a question. So that is language. That's what we pay attention uh, to. So for conventions, like your email address and all these things, and dear sir, madam, and kind regards, one point. Did you put everything in your email, what we ask you to put there? Two points. Is your use of language correct? No mistakes, nothing whatsoever. You get four points times two is eight points. Or you score three points. Two times three is six. Or you score two points. Two times two is four. Or you score one point. Two times one is two. You can even score no points if your language is really, 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 really horrible. You will get no points of language. But that is not the case in your class. Everybody can score at least two points. Communication two points. One is you can score one point, definitely. The other point is a little bit difficult to score. And then you have 13 points and you will score a 10 if you have a 10, you get a 7.9. Uh, if you have a 13 points, you get a 10. If you have if you have one point for conventions, two points for content elements, and one point for effective communication, you already have four points. That's a 3.7. Suppose you score four points for language, then you have eight points, and you immediately see that you can score a 6.5 easily as long as you do what I ask you to do well you can watch this video as often as you like you can pause the video as often as you like but watch it while you write your first email and use this video good luck